it's me, the Velvet Locks again in another car vlog. So today I am here with the Devour. <laughs> and right now we're doing some running around because uh, he's getting ready for prom. So, doing some, uh, you know, shopping for him getting his suit and his attire together. Because this is it, you guys. Reality, real life, after high school. <laughs> yep, real life. Just like my oldest son this morning, he's running out the house behind us and he's up there asking, us, asking me, oh, ma, there's nothing here for breakfast. So I'm looking at him like, dude, don't you work? Didn't you go shopping the other day? What you asking me about that for? You a grown man, you work. You just got home this morning from work. So uh, go get yourself some breakfast. I'm telling you, these, these millenniums, man, when do they stop? I tell you, that might just be a doggone topic today, a car vlog topic about the, the spirit of, uh, well, I already did a video on the entitlement spirit, but that spirit is so real. These kids these days have that entitlement spirit to think that even after a certain age that you have to take care of them or you have to supply for them or you have to do for them. Heck to the now. Once you get to a certain age of adulthood and you're working, no, 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 no. No more, no more. I can understand, you know, you, you you do things here and there for your adult children. If you go shopping, you see something they like, or, you know, you feel in the mood, you want to pick it up for them, that's different. But when they are expecting you to take care of them or help them out with a need, now it depends on the need, okay? It also depends on the need, and it depends on the child. Now, if you got a child that is in constant, have his hands out like this, and he's an adult or she's an adult, and it's, can you help me? Can you do for me? Can you do this? Can you help? No, 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 no. Now, minors, I could understand. Okay, we talking about the ones that aren't working that's in school, they get taken care of, okay? But these new millennium children, these millenniums, this, this mindset that you gotta do for them, you, oh my gosh, no. And the thing in my household is, I don't spoil my kids. Although, yeah, I do spoil them. But I don't spoil them that bad. Whereas that dude, I have to reprogram them to remind them, listen, don't get it twisted. You still better make sure and listen. Because I'm not spoiling you and I'm not trying to create monsters. You know, but man... Mm. I tell you, they don't realize what's a blessing and what's a necessity these days. You understand? I tell you, allowance, that's a blessing. <laughs> that's a blessing. You understand? What else? What's, what else is a blessing? Having a bed is a necessity. Having pillows and sheets and all of that is a blessing. So don't get it twisted, you new, you newbies, you new jacks, you new millennials. Don't get it twisted. There's a blessing in everything, but there's also a necessity. So don't get the necessities mixed up with the blessings. Okay? I think that's where the mindset goes wrong with a lot of our children these days. You know, especially with our adult children. Who's no longer in the house. And I know you got some of those. Mind you, my daughter, my, my oldest, she's out of the house. And she, no, she already knows. Ma don't play those games. And since she's been out the house, she's never asked for one penny, one help, no nothing. If I don't ask her questions, when I notice something might be a little lacking. And to pull it out of her, that's the only way she would actually tell me if she's in need of something. And then I'd be like, why did you say something? But for the most part... For the adults, they need to 
take care of their adult selves and learn life the way they should, okay? Now, I look at it like this, the same way my parents looked at it. Once you leave the house, you're an adult. You're an adult, you're on your own. Now, I'm not saying you can't help your kids out from time to time, but you are an adult. That means take care of your situation. A lot of times these kids, they'll go out there and they got their income coming in, but they out there blowing it, okay? They either blowing it on drugs, blowing it on partying, blowing it on things, you know, expenses, whatever. Not even regular expenses, but just blowing it, partying, having fun. Then when their money run dry, they want to call you and ask you to help them out. No not in my house I don't play those games once you're an adult and you're out the house you take care of yourself if it's little minor stuff you know you need food or stuff I can understand helping out in situations like that where there's a major need an emergency need but like little frivolous stuff let them kids fend for themselves teach them how to be an adult by letting them learn life by examples let them learn life by examples Okay, because you're no longer under the roof, which means I have to take care of you. No, I have to take care of you. Not at all. I must say, when my son came back from the military, but I warned him even then, make sure you don't mess yourself up where you're coming back. You'll be one of these statistics coming back from the military and don't have nothing to show for it. Okay. I threatened that boy so bad with that. But you know what happened? He did exactly what I told him not to do. He messed himself up and got put out the military. Well, you know what I did? Okay, I didn't want him out there in Virginia getting caught up with the wrong things, wrong people, wrong, wrong crowd. So I told him, okay, come home. Come back to New York. All right? Now that was helping him out to get on his feet for a short time because once he gave, came home, I made sure and put the rules down. All right, I also contacted my bishop for a consultation with him. So that means now you are gonna come here, you're gonna get consulted, and these are the rules. You got a certain period of time to get yourself on the ball, get back on your feet. You also got a certain amount of time to go and look for a job. While you're here, you're supposed to be looking for a job, not just laying, and let me just say this much. When he came back home, his bed was already occupied. His furniture was already taken. He came back home without a room to go to, without a bed to sleep in, and without a place to put his clothes. You know why? Because I wasn't trying to make him comfortable. He's a grown man, he's an adult, he's a soldier. So that was my mentality, you're a soldier. And if Uncle Sam couldn't handle you, you sure ain't gonna stay lounged up in my house. So you got a short period of time to get your stuff together. Now, mind you, you guys, I gave him chances, gave him time, but you can give a child as much time as they need depending on how much you see them really trying to get on their feet. Now, if you got adult children in your life that's falling behind, falls from time to time, but you see that they really are adamant about making it happen and struggling and doing what they gotta do, that's a different type of child that I'm talking about. You can help those out, okay? And I help my son out as much as possible, but then that ungrateful spirit seeped in. Now, when he first came home, he was grateful because he needed the help. He had a place to stay, food, the whole nine, but I still wasn't making it comfortable because he had to sleep on the doggone sofa. Yes, I made him sleep on the sofa because he wasn't gonna get comfortable. I wasn't trying to make him comfortable. So after a period of time, I realized he's not really, you know, really trying to do what he gotta do. So time to turn the heat up. Yeah, I turned the heat up on him. I gave him all sorts of ultimatums and I told him, by, by this month, if you don't have a job and a place to, 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 to live, you're getting put out and I may have to put you in a shelter. Just to teach him 
life okay now you some of you may say oh my gosh she's a Christian you could do stuff like that yeah why not there's the worst thing is to use the the, the blanket of Christianity as a way to be a stepping stool or a doormat for other people no not at all you're not to be a doormat for nobody so I wasn't trying to be a doormat doormat for my children either now no he was getting it together but then the attitude started coming in the ungratefulness started coming in and I just got done I got done and I said you know what you got money you gotta go you gotta do something you gotta go you gotta leave the house because you're a grown man you had a career you messed it up now you're back home I gave you a chance and you're sitting here taking your sweet precious time and not putting in your hard work efforts where is that military spirit so yes he had to go he had to go now he's out doing his own got his place got his job okay maybe a little mad but that's all right has to learn life and eventually all of that will come back you know where you'll see that you know they'll learn they'll learn and they'll come back and thank you sometimes because that's what I did with my parents but I say this to say that there's nothing wrong with showing tough love to your adult children especially when they are users they are opportunists and they're using you as a doormat or a footstool for their needs. There's no such thing. You are the adult, you set the standards, you put down the ground rules, and don't be the doormat for nobody, not even your children, okay? It's one thing when you are helping a ch a, an adult child that may need a little help here and there, because we all do, we all fall short. But it's another thing when you allow them to use you to manipulate you to it's all about the money it's all about what you can do for me their only concern about your well-being is about all right you're good but i need such and such and such and such can you help me out no no so you guys and basically it's a random car vlog because um a random topic because yeah, this morning, my son, matter of fact, on our way out right now. So that kind of struck up some thoughts of, you know, these adult children got some darn nerves. But no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. My kids will tell you. Men are up with spirits. Okay? This is why, this is why all of my kids are obedient. They listen. And they're well liked, well behaved, and I always get compliments on how well mannered they are. I don't play. I put in the footwork. I put in the footwork. Y'all understand? Footwork, okay? <laughs> nah. Lots of love, understanding, but a little bit of that footwork. That helped out a lot, okay? But thank you so much for joining me. We're getting ready to go into Burlington's and find my son a suit for his prom. If not here, we're gonna check out a couple other places, maybe um, Portobello, where I bought my baby's uh, shorts and stuff. But yes, you guys. And stay tuned for a video coming up where I'm gonna do a get ready with me for a engagement pre-wedding photo shoot, all right? Um, but I'm gonna be getting ready, doing my makeup, doing my hair for that, uh, for that day. And then later on, you'll see the outfit and you'll see my baby's outfit, both of us together. And we'll show you some footage of our photo shoot. And we'll also do a little story time video for you, okay? All right, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Hey fam, where you going? You didn't subscribe yet. Well, listen, first of all, before you go, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget also to turn on that notification bell. So this way you will not miss another one of my videos. Okay? Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Click it. And then hit that little bell. And make sure that it's lit. You will miss out on so much if you don't hit that subscribe button. And also hit that bell next to it. 
make sure that it's turned on so this way when I upload another video you will not miss it at all okay you will be the first to know so don't forget give me those likes thumbs up and hit that subscribe button along with the bell at the bottom and you will always know when I upload another one of these videos okay so I'll see you in the next video